Welcome and good evening, boys and girls. I was going to try making a straight face and then he did something weird like that. How are y'all doing tonight? This is 406 Broncos. That's Michelangelo. I'm Dakota Tello. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the last, well, the third preseason game here that we just had, which is considered the dress rehearsal game, if you want to use that loosely or whatnot. Um, Correct, Amundo. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about... Um, I like seeing myself. I hate it. <laughs> I feel like I've done way better since not having to look at myself. Um, and then we're going to talk about who we think is going to get cut, who's going to make the final 53-man roster. And we're also end. going to talk about the zit in my left nostril inside. It hurts. Yeah, let's get a close-up on that. See it? See it? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so I think this has been our best outing this last preseason game. Um, I think oh. it was... What? Oh. Well, hold on. Okay. Are you going to kind of give a little summary about it, or do you want me to give you... Yeah, we can do that. The introduction, or, well, not the introduction, but the Q&A on it. So this guy missed the game. I did. I went camping with a couple friends. We had to go up Friday night, so I missed the game. But he knows the gist of it, but... I watched highlights, yeah. We, we tried to make it a little more interesting for the show to where he doesn't know everything, so he's going to ask me about it, and I'll... Uh, we'll just kind of break it apart like that. So go ahead. Okay. Sounds good. I don't know where I was going to lead off with it, but okay. okay hold, on, hold on. So all in all, first off, do you think this was a good representation of how the season can look now? I hope so. I mean, if, I if... Mean, yeah, it was the third game. So most of the starters stayed out there. Yeah. They stayed out for pretty much the entire first half, both offense and defense. I would have to say, if if we play like this, if we play anything like we did in that game, we're going to be pretty damn good coming into this season. We're going to win at least, you know, 10 games if we play like that. The biggest thing about the whole, about the way we played comes back down to play calling. They they did a great job of, of uh, looks like maybe studying and pre just preparing. Okay. Um, they, they did say that Bantz you know, executed their, their practice as, as he always talks about his practice, but no, they said that he, um, the way they practice is the way they performed and it, it showed in this one. So the, um, coaches weren't as predictable this time. I, I would have to say so. Like I, I honestly couldn't, uh, just like, as far as offense, it wasn't like, Oh, run. Oh, short pass. You know, it was, they did a lot more passing, and then the runs that they did were well executed, well designed, and thought out as far as when to run. They'd throw on short, you know, instead of run the obvious. They'd run on long and make good yards out of it. Um, I did see that they did kind of open up the passing game a bit. On mm -hmm. the highlights, I did see uh, Sanders Sutton was got one, a lot. I believe. Sanders was killing it. Sanders got involved a lot. Um, um, I don't know that DT played a lot. I think he did play, but I don't think he played a ton in that game. Okay. He's, and if he did, he wasn't involved he very okay. much. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. It, it, with the games we've seen, I think I think we're seeing something between Keenum and Sanders. Sanders, absolutely. Um, I that, think that the, might be his go-to target more. You can tell he's really favoring uh, Jeff Hireman as well. Ooh. And just that that tight end position. I like that. I do too. It's good to see him. It's did good he, to see Hireman did, actually. Did Hireman do anything this game? Um, I don't remember exactly a whole lot of him, but he did. He did have a good catch that turned into a fumble, but it went out of bounds, so it didn't affect us. But, um, I, I believe in that in that catch, he, he either shook a guy or stiff armed a guy, and it was he just was showing off his power, and that's a good sign still, even with the fumble. Okay. Um. So it wasn't just third down and out kind of thing this time no, around. It no. was we were we actually progressing. I did see in the highlights that we had like five or six kicks, field uh, field goals. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and a lot of them were there was a couple from fifty plus, and he was just nailing them. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, that was a good that was a good deal for McManus because he's that showed McManus off there. Well, he I had like kind that. of a he kind of had a a rough year last year, so yeah, it's it, it's hopefully he'll get a boost out of that, and it was good to see him sharp. Yeah. Once again, like we know he can be. Um, actually, and on the opposite side, uh, Marquette King didn't perform very well. Really? And they and they I guess they were saying that he didn't perform very well in the second week, which I disagree. I think he's done well the first two weeks, but even even he was shaking his head walking off the field after a couple of his punts. So I mean, it's not like they're going to go out and get another punter. But they're just going to look for him to... I think he's got the power, even if uh, they don't think he's... Or if they think he's underperforming, he's, he's far better than Dixon was. Well, and clearly he knows his performance is lacking, so he's going to correct himself. He wants to be better. Yeah. Everybody wants to be better at their craft, whatever it is in the football. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so another shiner for Royce Freeman, wouldn't you say? Like... He he did good again. You even texted me that Royce uh-huh. got his got another touchdown. Twenty two yard touchdown, so another twenty plus touchdown. Um, Royce had probably the worst outing he's had in the last three weeks, and that's saying something considering he got a touchdown again. Um, Booker underperformed once again. It, it's I wouldn't be surprised if Booker didn't even make the team this year because yeah. there's just so much depth. Philip Lindsay's been killing it every time. Um, Royce is doing good. Like I said, Royce did have a few that were just stopped at the line or even for loss. So he, he wasn't quite as elusive as he has been in the past. But all in all, I still think Royce is the number one guy. kind of excites me, though, too, is because there's a good projection on Royce now, even um, with the fantasy we saw. He was um, up there. He was yeah, like in the top 30. Um, that maybe we've got ourselves a good running back now. Like... Like, you know how everyone's got their guy, like Todd Gurley, uh, Le'Veon Bell, Ezekiel Elliott. Maybe we've got Royce Freeman. I, th- and- I think Royce could be a Rookie of the Year candidate for sure. He- he's definitely, you know, if, if he starts, if he can start and, and perform, obviously he'll have to perform. But but if he gets the start, he'll have all the opportunity to, to be Rookie of the Year or to at least have a shot at it. So we talked a bit about offense and how they killed it. Mm. I guess let's swap it over. And what did you see the defense brought? Defense was was good. It was still you know the play calling. I I, I like the play calling. They actually did really good. In fact, to stop Alex Smith, um, I don't I see that. I don't think they really got anything going for the first three or four drives, and they it was really hard for them. To, they could not convert on third down. We we stopped them converting third down. I a liked lot. that. That was I a big really deal. Really like that. Um. The big things, we had a few injuries, but I think we're good on those. Marshall went out, and so did Wolf, but I haven't heard anything since about either of them, so I think they're both okay. Um, the, the cornerbacks, though, we're getting thin. Uh, Isaac Yadam and Brandon Langley both had terrible outings, and and it's just this is just the same thing for y- Yadam. And it's not that Yadam's doing so terribly, it's just that he's green as goose shit. So he he's you know he's got a lot to learn. Adam is in the right place. He just needs to get his sense of of uh, positioning and as far as yeah where, and where the, where ball, the ball is. is. So I think they're just going to groom him this year. He's going to be a he'll be like a fourth or fifth cornerback, and he's going to learn from a lot of these good cornerbacks like Chris Harris and Bradley Roby. Um, Tremaine Brock is probably going to be the third or fourth because we just brought on Adam Jones who I'm not exactly thrilled about because I can't stand the guy. I also said the same thing about Aqib Tlaib, though, before we got him. So, we'll see. Adam Jones is going to have to win me over. He's going to have to, like, play really well. He's going to have to poke some eyes for you, huh? And pull some chains. I guess. But, I mean, we didn't bring him on to cut him, so he's going to make the team. It's a one-year, $1 million contract, and that's just, the only reason we did it was because we're so short at depth. On that, and like I said, Brandon Langley played terribly too. It's they're just these guys are gonna probably end up getting. Uh, Langley could get cut, you know, and I like that guy. He he's, he's done really good things, but it's just there's so many spot. There's only so many spots and so much talent, and you have to, you know, just you have to cut. You know, some people are gonna get cut that are good. 
That's how it is. Let's talk about the line a little bit then. Um, oh, the O line or the no, D line? No, no, no. Let's talk about the D line in our first round pick. How did how did he perform? And it was Von Miller out there. Must Von was out there the whole time. So they, how was the duo between those two kind of rushing in? I feel like Chubb might have got a sack. I was gonna ask that next if there was sacks, interceptions. There was some sacks. Fumbles. Uh, there was a couple sacks, especially when Colt McCoy came in. Um. I feel like Vaughn got in on one. I don't know that he got a sack, but he definitely... No. Uh, it's hard for me to remember. I think I saw on the highlights it was... Uh, was it Gotsis that got one? Gotsis definitely got one. Um, that was like almost... I think it was the first play even. of, <laughs> But... Gotsis got one. Um, Shane Ray got in there on a, on a sack. I'm pretty... I think Chubb and, and Miller both got in on one. I want to say they were both in on the same one. Uh, the the line looked fine. That we stopped the run pretty well. It wasn't just getting gouged like we've seen. Um, linebackers did all right. I think we're getting a little thin at the linebacker position as well. But that's where Sua Cravens is going to have to come in and and really shine because he'll be that. We're 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 just getting need thin to see on that everything. guy play though. I mean, there's four or three preseason games down, and that guy hasn't even really been on the field for Denver yet. He's supposed to be here be on the next week, so And that's wasn't that one thing that when we got him in is it was a little scare factor of him being an injury prone man. Yeah. Now here he is with a knee injury and I haven't seen him yet, so All right. Um let's see if there's any other points that I really wanted to Oh going back to offense. Biggest shine of the entire game. Andy Janovich. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Andy Janovich looked like a stud, and everyone could could not stop talking about it because he he picked up so many blocks multiple times. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know much more to say about it. He, he just, he was, he, he might have saved himself a job, realistically. Like, he didn't do any running plays. Oh, that was another thing. Sanders had a running touchdown. I saw that. I did see that, and it was, it was, really cool it was really team. good so sanders is going to be utilized a lot i picked up sanders in fantasy this last week because Which was smart because um, i know he's going to be a heavy what's target. funny is Demarius thomas was above him in it and i was really thinking that i think emmanuel sanders is going to be the guy this year to be honest thomas um, is still going to be a factor but i think thomas is I th- he's winding down but look for sutton man sutton's going to be a factor too he he can go up and get him and he was getting himself open he was he was. He had an incredible catch too. Like oh, yeah. there he, he did good too. I think we should stop the Q and A real quick. Um, there's a couple things else we want to talk about. Mm. Um, um, foremost, do we want to start off with our cuts? No, we'll close with that. You want to close with that? Well, what do you want to start out with? So. Oh, real quick, just because I saw it on here. Um, Bowles did really good on the line. Did he? He, he did. He showed some good stuff. And also, Demonte Thomas. That's a guy that's biting for it. Yeah, I think he's a cornerback or a safety. But that guy, he he did really well this week playing a nickel. I did hear, or I did see on this report that Ronald Leary's an injury on knee. Uh, was yeah, that I think they're just that game, or was that practice? I don't. No, he didn't start. He didn't start in that preseason game. It was it was Max Garcia. Okay. So I think they're just being precautionary. Oh, yeah. I think that's all. Well, Garcia, I don't know. I can trust him, too. But anyway, what were the other things we were going to talk about? Pat Bowen? Oh, yeah, okay. Pat Bowen uh, just got uh, put in as a finalist for Hall of Fame as far as a Which the man executive. deserves it. Absolutely. Definitely. We, could, we could go on and on about his accolades, but all we know is that Mr. Bowen made Denver a championship city. He... Uh, He's been there 30 plus years, and in those 30 plus years, we've had more Super Bowl appearances than losing seasons, including that includes last year. So, I mean, that was just good news for Denver this week, just to see Pat getting that honor. So, nothing much else to say about it, but just wanted to make that a note. But let's go ahead and make these cuts because I think this is going to be a little. We're going to take some time on this and okay. really dissect this. So. We're gonna. Okay. We're gonna. This is gonna be 
what we think should be the final 53-man roster, and we'll we'll even try and make a practice squad. I don't really know the practice squad. I don't know. I mean, we can just, yeah, I guess we could say it. But... So, r- write down the depth chart, and then over here we'll, we'll c- write down all the cuts. Okay? Uh... You can just do last names. Okay, just we'll, we'll start with QB. So, QB, I think we're pretty clear on what we think as far as QB. We sh- I personally think we should only have two. Once again, we have so many roster spots. We can't we can't hold one of them up with a third string QB that we know is not going to play and we know is not going to perform, and that is Paxton Lynch. Paxton Lynch must be cut. So am I putting him on the cut list now? Yes. Jeez, you're going to be talking. I'm going to just trying to catch up on writing. I don't know why we're doing it. Paxton Lynch. Yep. I agree with Paxton Lynch. Yeah. Well, we got to cut our loss. I don't know how you want me to. Do. Okay, that's fine. Just put down cuts, and then you don't have to write names on these. Just do a tally so we can keep count of how many players we have. Okay, so two on QB. Yeah. Okay, um, I agree with Paxton Lynch being cut. I think we need to cut our losses with that guy. Um, we've given that guy so many uh, chances, opportunities. I've said this before. I mean, I'm repeating myself now. It's, it still stands. Yet you said he did a little bit better in this. Just does not he did. He did bring all right. him back to what he has already done. Yeah, one out of three games, with, and you did good with the third strings. Like, yeah, I mean, so that doesn't speak well. Chad Kelly him. won the job. And he has won it every single week. He's, yeah. he's starting this week. So, I, I agree how those two cut Paxton. Yep. Okay, go ahead. You, you take this one. Okay. What he says, I didn't watch too much of it. I did see that Booker did have a good run, but it came on to a holding play. Where so that just kind of deterred, By paradise, I think actually deterred uh, Booker's run. Um, I agree. Royce Freeman should be the number one running back. Absolutely, he's already shown it. He's already gotten three touchdowns, and with the starting pack too. Um, Booker, I've I've the, the best I've seen with him do is like a ten yard run. I feel like we have more running backs than it's showing on here. Um, but if all case. Um, what are you thinking? Like cutting our losses with Devontae Booker as well, and then... I mean, if that's if that's all we're showing for running backs, I don't think they are gonna. I think honestly, they've been talking about D'Angelo Henderson and David Williams both getting a lot of of uh, recognition from other teams. So we might try to trade one of those guys because if they said if we put them on on practice squad, they'll have to go on waiver. So somebody's gonna pick them up. So I mean, personally, I think we're gonna keep. I think they're gonna keep Booker if this is all we have, because it's gonna be it's gonna be Royce Booker and Lindsey, and then it's just a matter of who between David Williams and Henderson. And if it's you know I don't know, that's tough actually. For argument's sake, let's say they cut David Williams because he's the younger guy. Uh, maybe they'll keep him though because he's the younger guy. What do you think? I, who knows with that running back? Because they both did really good in this last game. They both did good. Let's go ahead and say David Williams stays. Cut Henderson because or practice squad, one of those two is going to be practice squatted. We'll just so say Henderson. Okay, so we got three running backs. Four. Well, one on practice squad. Well, it's going to be Booker, Freeman, Lindsey, and Williams are going to be on our team. Right, but one's in practice. Actually, squad. you know what? You know what? So he's not even making the fifty-three. He's making the practice squad. So well, we I have... said one of those two. One of those two. Will. So we're three on the board though. Specifically, not practice squad. Like no, you're no, no. you're keeping four, putting one on the practice squad. But that doesn't count against your roster. Your practice squad's different. I know, but you have to have fifty three men on your team. But practice squad is different. But I'm saying they're gonna have four running backs. Okay, but aren't we gonna cut this to the fifty three right now? Well, we'll keep three for now. But I think they're gonna keep four running backs. But you might as well put Andy Janovich down on there too, because. Because he's going to stay. <laughs> okay, yeah, we don't need to talk about fullback. Wide receivers. Um, we know Thomas. Well, obviously, the, the, the trio here is going to be the, the stay factor. You've got Demarius Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, Cortland Sutton. Those three are going to stay. Yep, those are for um, sure. And I think, personally, I think we're going to keep six. That's how many receivers we're going to have. Okay. You, you, okay, so you think they're going to keep six. 
All right, here's here's a good question here for you. Um, Jordan Taylor has been on our team for quite some time. He is injured. We have a boat full of receivers on the list. Do you think he's in jeopardy of his job? See, I don't know that. I think they can IR him and still keep him on the team. You think so? I think so. I don't know so. But if not, he's going to get cut. If they can't do that, he'll be cut. Okay. So, in between all the, these lists of guys, who do you think? So yeah, okay, ones. they're going to probably swap. If, if, if in any case, they're going to swap Isaiah McKenzie in the special teams. Well, he'll, he'll still be listed as a receiver, though. So, th- that would be counted as the six receivers. Mm-hmm. Do you think Isaiah McKenzie is going to stay? I do. Only because they, they just keep pushing for him. But... Okay, so we have four. So we're saying Isaiah McKenzie stays. Okay, um, Deshaun Hamilton. Yep, I think so. so. He's shown a lot. That's five right there. There's only one the more The sixth left. spot is the tough one. I think Tim Patrick has shown a lot. I think River Craycraft has shown a lot. Uh, the rest of them are kind of just blurs, to be honest. So, personally, I say they keep Tim Patrick as their sixth guy, okay. and then River Craycraft will end up getting... Uh, just go ahead and do it. You don't got to do all these, actually. Just, just Craig Craft uh, cut or uh, he'll be practice squatted if, if anything. You don't... So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put him in there. Okay. Uh, this cut list will be too ridiculous. I know. I was just thinking that. Tight end. Now, um, this is a. I forgot about Fumagalli. Yeah, I think I'm pretty. Um, sure... I would say we're only gonna keep three of these guys. Okay, we're gonna keep three. Obviously, Jeff Hireman, Jake Butt. Who's your third one? Oh, man. Fumagalli's it would, it would, injured. It would have to be Fumagalli, in my opinion, but let's see what his injury thing says. Hernia. Hernia. See, I mean, he could be practice squatted or IR'd. So, I mean... So pick another one? If, if that case of what you said is true? Well, it's going to be Austin Trailer then. He's the only one out of the rest of them that's done anything. So you think they're going to three of them? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking just three. And that's who it's going to be. It's going to be Hireman, but... And either Trailer or Fumagalli, depending on how the injury comes out. But it might just be Trailer anyway, because, I mean, Fumagalli, they don't really know anything. It's not like they're going to... I mean, they. I guess they could do four, but that's very unlikely. Okay, Garrett Bowles, that's a... There's okay. one guy on there. Let's just... We're going to do all O-line. Okay. Oh, I kind of already gave him spots. We'll just write them down. But it's going to be all O-line. And I think they're, they're, the talk is eight. That's what the talk is. Eight O-linemen. Okay, one, two, three, four, So all five. those all those starters are going to be there. Max Garcia. Max Garcia, I think, will too. Menelik Watson is going to get cut. Okay. This is actually kind of tough. So we already got six on the board. We need two more. So, God, this is tough. Probably Billy Turner. He, so ha- he, he he really fucked up last... Oh, shoot. He really messed up <laughs> last week. Uh, he... Okay, so that means it's seven, though. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, okay, and then probably... Uh, I'm trying to remember which of these guys has really been doing good. I think it's this... I think it's Cyrus Coanduio-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-
You want to do the whole D-line? Well, but, unless if you want to do by uh, position. I, hmm, I say six of them. So they, from, six or seven. From defensive end, nose tackle, defensive end. Yeah. Or are you going to... Are you doing our linebackers? Just go ahead and do the whole O line, as one, or the D line, I mean. So okay, so we're talking about here then. Yeah. Okay, so Derek Wolf, Demato Pecco, and Adam, Adam Gosses is, is obviously. Those guys are going to be good. Um, <laughs> Shelby Harris. Absolutely. Demarcus um, Walker for sure, and Zach Kerr. That's another one. Zach Kerr killed it in this last game. So you, do you not think Kyle Pecco might? I don't think he will. Zion Anderson's a linebacker. I don't even know why they have him on there. It could just be these six, to be honest. It might not even be... Clinton McDonald could get cut. Oh, I forgot about him. I mean, we'll say we'll say six right now. And Did if... we not get him not too long ago? Yeah, he was, he was a free agent pickup. And he's going to get cut? Well, just because everybody else is performing so well. I mean, okay, let's let's just say we'll have six D-line. It could be seven, but we'll say six right now, and then if if we have more room, we'll put Clinton McDonald in there. Okay, hold on. So are we going to do linebackers all in one, two, or? Yeah, let's do all linebackers as one, and I think we're going to keep six of them as well. Okay, six of them. So maybe Vaughn Miller. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he, Bradley He, he might barely make the cut. There's four already. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. We're definitely going to keep at least seven of these guys because I because we have four linebackers. Well, Josie Jewell, Shaq Barrett are Josie also... Jewell and Shaq Barrett will for sure be in there. So how many is that? So how many did you say that they were going to keep? Seven. There's only one more slot. Only one more? Probably Shane Ray. You think so? Yeah, because he's been back out there. The problem, oh man, we might have to do eight of these guys because there needs to be another middle linebacker. You know what I mean? And I would, I would have to say it either, either Berea or Zion Anderson. I really like Zion Anderson. I think he's done good. Also, God, all these guys have done good. Go ahead and just put eight because. Desire Anderson. Yeah, we'll say him. Alright. Corner, left corner. So This corner. last this this fourth this fourth preseason game is gonna decide a lot of this stuff too. Okay. Chris Harris Jr., Bradley Roby, obviously. Yes. We're gonna Isaac say Isaac Adam, yes. We're gonna say five corners. Um, Tremaine, Tremaine Brock, Brock, of course, and obviously Adam Jones. Adam Jones. That was an easy one. So wait, we said five then. Well, let's let's go ahead and throw six. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a pretty. You got to kind of have deep. Okay, so who do you think it is? Two of those guys are. It's probably gonna be C.J. Smith or Marcus Rio. Well, no, they said Marcus Rio is probably not. Let's just go ahead and do five, man, because the rest of these guys, I I can't be for sure they're gonna make the cut. Yeah. So strong safety, free safety. Uh. Darian Stewart. Yep. Justin, Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons. Sue Cravens. Uh, Will right. Parks, I think, will actually... Well, you know what? De, do DeMonte Thomas, because he's definitely going to be make the cut. What's wrong with Will? Oh, yeah, he he's got hurt. that. Yeah. Now, let's see what count we're at here, and then we'll, we'll make some so decisions. So 23 up here, right? 20. Oh, yeah, yeah no, you're right, you're right, 23. Uh, 26 from special teams. Okay. Oh, okay, so we have four more slots. Four more slots. So let's go ahead and put Will Parks in. Okay, so <clears throat> Will Parks, free safety. Um, let's put uh, Clint McDonald, because then we're hanging on to him. So two more slots. Probably another running back to make it four total. 
And I think that last one will be either... It's either going to be a fourth tight end or another linebacker. Well, what do you think? Probably a fourth tight end because they're not going to want to cut Fumagalli. But he's not healthy enough to, to not have a third string. So they'd have to have trailer. Yep. There you go. Everyone else is cut or put on to practice squad. Although they could practice squad for Magali. You don't think in any chance they want to keep three quarterbacks going? Nope. Not with as much depth as we have. And there's no reason to. Most teams only carry two. Yeah, well, and then you get into the Patriots predicament where they were scared because they're on their third, and the next runner-up was Julian Edelman. Remember that? Yeah, but you can always pick up free agents. The chances of the chances of both your quarterbacks going down in the same game is just so unlikely. Well, it was close because, remember, uh, Simeon happen. was injured. Then next game, uh, Paxton. Paxton got injured by non-contact. Con- yeah, and then we still had Brock. I know. So we were all right. I know, but that's the thing. We've got, okay, so you can pick up a free agent, so we're over 53. Yeah, but if a guy gets hurt, he's going to be put on IR. Or he's going to be put on... Well, but what if that's your starting quarterback? I mean, he's putting on... What if, okay, so what if he... What if Juan was, like, out four weeks, and then next next uh, game, your secondary gets out four weeks? Okay, well, if, you're one, if your first string gets put out... They're gonna bring in a guy that next week, so your your backup's gonna have a backup. Oh, okay, that's how it works. Yeah, you just bring him in the next week, and then uh, like the, just the chances of both your guys getting hurt in the but same not game. In IR. Yeah, well, you just gotta cut somebody. You'd cut a safety or you'd cut a running back. You just cut somebody who's whoever's like dead weight to make room. Do it all so the time. So it's a curious question. Yeah, and then. Or it's usually somebody you're going to cut and then put on the practice squad. And then you can bring them Alrighty. back on. Well, we got that. Um, oh, yeah, we're we did running. this. We, I think we ran the time that we needed for this I, episode. I knew that was going to take a minute, but. I know. That's this, That's the big thing that's going to happen. So QB, two days from now. Let's run it by. QB, two. Running back, four of them. Fullback, one. Receiver, six. Tight end, four. Left tackle, one. Left guard, two. Two, center one, right guard two, right guard or right tackle two, special teams, uh, obviously the three, uh, defensive end, left defensive end two, um, nose tackle two, right defensive end three. It's just how they were matched in that. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go okay, ahead. I'll go by this way. No, you're fine. You're uh, fine. Left and right inner ta- uh, inner linebackers uh, three of them. Strong linebackers two, weak uh, side linebackers three, um, right corner three, left corner two, strong safety two, free safety three. Oh, you know what? They might take another corner. Like you could, you could pop. Fucking, freaking. Five. You did it both this episode. Um, they have Potty five, mouth. so you don't think you they think could take a, a four or a six? They could. Yeah, but, but I think I think in reality right now that it does sound good. It'll either um, be a linebacker, a corner, or a tight end. So I don't know how well the next episode is going to be with us, you know, giving us our update. I don't know how much I'm going to watch third strings. And it's stuff. not going to be much of that. Ba- basically, what you can expect for next week, it's going to be us talking about who made the cut and and talking about the upcoming game against the Seahawks. Yeah. Because that's what it's all about now. I, I, I don't really care about the fourth game, to be honest. This is pretty much our last preseason talk. Yeah. Like, we've talked about our cuts. The cuts are going to get made this week. Thursday's the the last game where the backups get to make their statements and then it's the cutting board and then Sunday is when we play. I think we're 9 yep. days out. Not Sunday. Sunday's when we play. I thought our Thursday. first game. Our first game. Seahawks. We oh, play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunday. Doy. So, that's right. Alrighty. Well, well, see you later. Sayonara, shucka.